Good afternoon, everybody. It is Sunday afternoon, and we are getting the ammo week started. I went to the range yesterday, did some pretty neat gel tests, and based on that, which you've already seen, hopefully, uh, the Winchester video came out a couple of days ago, and the other two will come out in the next couple of days after. But I'm going to look for some Gold Dot 45. That's uh, one of my missions this week. I already got something at the local shop. Uh, they had it, but I didn't film it. And I'll, you'll see that later. It's something pretty interesting as well. Uh, always on the hunt for some 357 Magnum and 9mm to try out because I'm learning a lot. The ballistic gel tests are definitely eye opening and pretty awesome. So we're going to head to uh, Sportsman Wholesale and then Rural King and then Bass Pro because I have to go to Costco and let's go see what they got. In the Rural King, those are good. You haven't seen that video yet. Got some Arm Score 22 for four bucks, eight cents a round. You got some Arm Score 223, 20 rounds for 12 bucks. Still a little high, but that is working in the right direction. 350, 40, 308. You got some SST slugs. They got 45 that's been here. The 308 match for 32. The 308 match for 43. That's cheaper in Bass Pro. 150 grain 308. 308 ELDX. A couple boxes of the 9mm Elite Defense. The SIG V Crown 40. Haven't tested those yet. You got some 65 Creedmoor match for. 37, 350 Legend, 450 Bushmaster, it's been here forever. You got one 24 grain Elite Defense. Oh, if you didn't see my video on uh, Tuesday, I don't like those anymore. 22 for five, Attack 22. You got some nine millimeter for 20, nine millimeter streaks for 10 bucks. I might have to get that. And then some regular hollow points for 1797. 124 grain 22. 115 grain for 29. 40 for 25. 45 for 20. That's a good deal. Those are good. You'll see that soon. American Gunner, I think this is the 40. For 1697, that's a good price. And then 40. And then these are one 15 grain TMC and then some 40 for 26. We got some Federal Bricks, small Magnum pistol match primers and large pistol match primers. But there's no prices. And then some competition smokeless powder. Hmm. There's some new things, but not a ton. We got some seven millimeter OT8. And then pretty much everything is the same. It's 243 with the uh, Barnes TSX, 6mm match. I mean, just a bunch of 300 Win Mag, 30 out 6, 7mm Remington Mag. Still some of that 38 Special. And then there's some 44 mag, but man, that is expensive. 70 bucks for 50 rounds, that is expensive. Uh, 380. And then I got some Herders 25 Auto. It's sticking around, that 25 Auto. Other than that, pretty much the same stuff on both sides. All right, pretty much similar stuff over here. You know how I feel about these silver tips now. No bueno. I tried, you'll see the 38 special version of the Critical Defense Light coming out soon. But um, I think I'm gonna give these Winchester Defender Elites a try. The 124 grain versus the 45. So we'll pick some of that up. I have not been in a Walmart in a while got some standard velocity and federal 22 up there and then we got some stingers and mini mags and the mini mag varmint those were good I like those 
270, 7.6, 1.52, 30-06, 2.43. You got the Super X and the Varmint 17. Uh, oh, there's some Auto Match, same price. Some Winchester. 30 out 6, 12 gauge, 308, 12 gauge, a bunch of random stuff on the bottom. And then some shotgun, nothing really like, wow. It's Tuesday and we're in Bass Pro. Some of those large pistol match primers are here and they've got some large pistol primers. Some more powder. It's been coming in regularly. Competition, Hornady Super Performance rifle powder, some 48.95, and a smokeless propellant ball powder. Looks like they had 48.31 C2, and then they had some small Magnum pistol primers. Over here in the pistol section, and there really isn't too much new. It's the same 9, it's the same 40, it's the same 45. There's just more of it. The prices are the same. They're not going down, they're not going up. I mean, I'd rather see them go down, but I definitely don't want to see them go up. All that 44 mag is gone. And uh, it's that 38 special still there, and the 40. But other than that, it is all the same. Wednesday evening and we are wrapping things up. Uh, on my way home from work, went to Bass Pro yesterday, so we're going to go to Rural King tonight, see if they got anything new. Let's go see what they got. And then we'll take it home and do a little recap. Arm score 22 for 399. You got 57 by 28 for 48. You got some 9 millimeter for 19. That's been there. That's been there. That's been there. These have all been here for a while. They got some arm score 45 for $25.99, I think. That 223 for $11.99. They got some more of that Centerfire 10 millimeter for 30. 65 Creedmoor for 28. 30, 350 Legend. 308. 12 gauge, 45 for 33, 308 match. That's actually not a bad price. I don't know if I've seen that before and I just ignored it, but 308, 308, nine millimeter, 40, that's a 6.5 Creedmoor match. Ammo Inc, Elite Defense, Silver tips and some Megillah. Back at the house, recap time. Ultimately this week I did not get what I wanted. I did not see any Spear Gold Dot 45. I saw it on I see it online, but I want to try and find it locally. I did not find it locally, so I did not get any. Uh, there are two things that I got from local shops that I didn't record because they're much smaller shops. But my local shop had some Civil Defense Liberty or Liberty Civil Defense in 357 Magnum. This is a 50 grain projectile traveling at 2100 feet per second. 357 Magnum, 2100 feet per second. I think the energy is, uh, it says 500 foot pounds of energy. That's insane coming out of a handgun. So we are going to. It says 12 inches of penetration at 10 feet, two inch dispersion at 25 meters, reduced recoil, deep cavity projectile. I'm really interested to try this in the gel out of the Colt King Cobra, so much so that I got the 38 special from a different shop and that was $37. This was about $37 also. This one is a 50 grain projectile also, 1500 feet per second. So if you are looking forward to this video, stay tuned. Um, at Bass Pro, uh, you know, I did the Winchester Silver Tips test and I was looking for, I think somebody said a PDX Winchester. I didn't see any of that. What I did was see, what I did see was the Defender Elite and this is nine millimeter plus P, 124 grain, 1200 feet per second, about 400 foot pounds of energy. It's got a nice projectile. It looks very similar to the spear gold dot so we're going to see how this works in the gel eventually i do have to melt the gel down and refresh it because it is
pretty uh, used up. And then along those lines, I got the 45 also. Um, same projectile, you know, just it's bigger, so it has, looks like it has a couple more flowers on the side. I really can't stand how this camera does not focus very well. And uh, this should be interesting in the gel test too. So the Winchester gel test that came out two days ago, um, I made a mistake with the 45. I went, a couple people pointed it out and I went back and looked at the gel and it did look like the projectile went through about 13 inches or so. And it had a nice spiral type uh, path through the gel. Uh, you could see the, the twisting of it. And then it came back to the front to about three inches from where it entered. So it went through and bounced back. But the nine millimeter, 147 grain, of myself in the face was trash i mean no cavitation went straight through it was even it was it just didn't flower open so uh, i've been carrying that and i need to switch it out probably going to switch it out to some v crowns until i can find an ample supply of gold dots another thing that i got was this barnes tack xpd um, i got it it's been there for a while i think and i got it because of this projectile and it's like a hologram and the projectile looks really awesome. And I think the 40 is, you know, there's a reason that cops carry 40. And I think it's gonna be a really nice medium between the nine and the 45. So I really, I'm hoping that I can get that Barstow barrel for the P229, but I don't think it's 12 to 14 weeks was the lead time. And I think that puts me around September 1st. I still have to wait about a month for it. But these were, these were 30, these were 35, and these were 31. So not bad, but I think the Spear Gold Dot ultimately right now is my favorite, and it's a favorite of a lot of people in the comment section. Last but not least was some pistol primers. They are hard to come by in stores. When they are, they go pretty quick. Uh, they used to be about $80, this was 90. Um, I did get this for a friend, I did not get it for me, but I'm putting it in the video you guys like a good thumbnail and Bass uh, Royal King had some 57 by 28 for 48 today tonight and they had some 45 for 26 which is a pretty good price because it's about eight dollars cheaper than Bass Pro and they had more of that center fire 10 millimeter for 30 but I didn't pick any up so um, yeah I need to melt that gel down, get some more gel testing done. I've got two more videos coming out. If you guys want to see any specific gel test, let me know down below. I still want to do some 223 test in there, and I want to do that Barnes one ounce slug with the flowering projectile. That's going to be an awesome video, but I want to get a couple of other things to shoot before I do that. So that's going to do it for this one. This video is already longer than I wanted it to be. Like and subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section below, and we'll see you in the next video.